I'm Taylor Wall, and this is my project, which is a brochure based on the technical specifications and design principles that are used in ThinkPad laptops in the real world. This is the front cover, which has a gatefold on it, and opens up to some really busy content, and then goes back to a simple format on the outside. This is the redesigned ThinkPad logo. You can see that it uses a similar color scheme, and the, one of the only colors in it is red. And if you can tell, this is kind of a reflective silver. And my logo has white and was modeled after the design of a laptop with the red arc showing how a laptop would flip open and then this bottom part kind of being skewed with the top to further hint at the opening of a laptop. Another design principle that this borrows from the ThinkPad is the hinges. You can see these hinges here and here as well. With these hinges, they're actually duplicated on the project with the hinges along the very back spine of this brochure and they appear like this on the front of it and then on the back like that and it says inspired utility and enduring design which are things that thinkpads are known for To get a better view of the final project, here is a picture of the cover. On it you can see how these would line up on the digital copy, and note that there would also be a break right underneath Think, and right up above New. This is the inside of the brochure. Here you can see that the fonts are consistent between all the body copy. That's a slab serif font, and that is matched with a sans serif font called Microgramma, which is actually the corporate font of AKG. On the right hand side you can see the self-created items. The top one is to represent a honeycomb mesh, and I also used the white and yellow to represent the ring wings and body of a bee respectively. The middle is a symbol for a fan and the bottom is a subpixel array in an LCD. On the top left you'll notice a couple distinct advantages that ThinkPads have over their competitors. The red lines represent the ThinkPad capabilities and the white lines are drawn in proportion based on how many times better or how many more options the ThinkPad has. The flagships without limits is close to the center of the page as that's my central message and then never step down is shown below with the three different pictures which are an SSD which is kind of like a hard drive a processor and RAM and underneath that is more detailed information for techie people who want to know the maximum capabilities of ThinkPads. The back of the brochure is meant to be balanced with the front of it. It's a very simple design. I included the logo in the corner as well as the two hinge elements on the right hand side. Overall pretty basic again compared to the front. It's very simple. Both have one logo and two different hinge elements as well as a small amount of additional text on the front. Another thing to note on the inside of this is I tried to use a couple different ways of displaying the information. The infographic on the top left is one, as well as a table on the bottom left. And then you can see on the right hand side I have three different sets of information. The first one is wrapped around that honeycomb shaped lattice work at different angles. The middle one is wrapped around the more circular shape of the fan, and the bottom one is simply wrapped straight along the edge of the subpixel array. There were certainly a few problems that happened along the way in designing this and just manual things like folding it. First of all, I had to print it off about seven times to get it to show up correctly for the people who would be critiquing it. And after I did that, I noticed that there is a piece along the edge that doesn't look too good. You can kind of see where the ink crackles and flakes off, which leads to an overall shoddy look for that fold, even though it was folded correctly. And again on the inside, it just kind of gives it a beat up look. A few things that I noticed while creating this design were first that it's hard to make cohesive and creative content that all matches together. I know the, the text kind of went with some images that I had in my head, but it was rather hard to recreate those. 
And also when I did finally recreate some simple icons and symbols on the right side of the design, it didn't fit very well with the pictures that were used on the left hand side of the design. Something I'd probably do in the future would be to make a better infographic, emphasize the headings, and have less body copy. I feel like this was really text heavy as it is, but prior to this and during the critique, there was about 30% more text on the page. And I feel like even after eliminating that, people won't necessarily want to read that much text, especially if they're not interested in the subject matter initially, and they don't care about detailed system specifications and things like that.